So tell me where you're from. Uh, we are from San Luis Obispo, California. Well, tell us why you came back. Okay, I came back because I uh, had visited my dentist for a cleaning. Yeah. And he said, you've worn a hole in your back molar mm -hmm. and it needs to be replaced. Mm -hmm. And I knew that um, this was something that uh, was, is going to require getting the very right. specific getting the bite right, yes. Based yeah. on everything I've learned with you. Because yes. when we saw you back in 18, tell the audience, if you okay. would, what was going on. I had had, about a year and a half previous, two molars done simultaneously at the same time. Therefore, I was held open for a long time and apparently it destabilized the joint as well as probably further uh, displaced the disc, which I was not aware of, of course, at the time. And um, it gradually became painful just with chewing, actually, pretty much. And I did a lot of research and at a certain point, to, um, realize that I needed specifically what you were doing here with the neurological approach to orienting the surfaces of the joints of the teeth, the surfaces yeah. of the occlusion. And to be fair, um, she's a physical therapist. Right. So and, you have a unique take on orthopedics. Yes. And right, and dental world tends to ignore the orthopedics, the cartilage, right. the ligament, yes. and how the joints, and that sits up here, and how the joints right. affect the bite. Yes, I deal very specifically yeah. with it in the Feldenkrais method, which deals very specifically with force production yeah. on weight-bearing surfaces. And, on, and that's yes. exactly what this is. And on distributing the forces in a tensegrity model mm -hmm. through the whole skeletal system. Yeah. So it's a very practical, detailed model, just like yours, very yeah. much oriented to the sensory neurological system. And so therefore I recognize that this yeah. was really... It, There's a parallel. Oh, a big parallel. It is not only the best treatment for this, but it is the only treatment, in my opinion, yeah. because I was offered programs that were sincerely offering me years of splint therapy plus following the splint therapy possible reconstruction yeah. to gain height in the joint and so on. And this, it totally dismissed the, the idea that the neurology of the system is primary yeah. in, in this particular I believe, in, in my particular case. Well, it's orthopedics yeah. and neurology. You know, and, and yeah. here's the thing. So when we imaged you in 18, on the MRI, we found things were a little bit unstable. Mm -hmm. Remember that? So you were a Piper 4B, 5A. And that's kind of an unstable and maladaptive situation. However, now, here you are two years later, you came back, we replaced your crown. We took new MRIs, new CTs, to find that it's still a little bit unstable, but it's adapting. So after we adjusted your bite with the computerized metrics, what was the experience? This time, you mean? Or the first time? First time. The first time. The first time we adjusted the bite, um, it was uh, really completely different. Uh, yeah. And the pain with chewing went away, as it turned out, immediately and, and permanently, yeah. right away. And that was in 2018? That was 2018, and, and it was... 100% yeah. since then. No problems with chewing, no problems yeah. with pain. So when and your dentist told you you needed a new crown, that you punched a hole through your old one from years ago, right. you came back here to make sure we didn't, that yeah. no one would screw your bite up. That's exactly right. Right, yeah. so, but what was cool, the coolest thing about your case, and I'm super happy you're doing great, right? Which is awesome. Um, but it's rare that someone comes back to me and we get new scans. Mm -hmm. And it's ideal. So I'm you did sure. the ideal. Yeah. And in the ideal, what we're seeing is that your body is slowly adapting over time. So we're using, we're vetting the joints orthopedically, MRI and CT. We're vetting muscles with electromyography. We're doing all this other crazy stuff. And then we're dialing in the bite with electromyography and T-scan technology so we can track all this stuff and we can balance the forces that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. right? And that well, there is neurology that's been researched for 30 years that connects a bad bite basically to muscles working too hard. Mm -hmm. So if your joints are relatively stable and yours were stable enough, thank God, it's a lasting thing. And here mm -hmm. you are two and a half years later. And this is three years. Three years. Three now. years yeah. with no trouble whatsoever. Yeah. It was uh, completely changed right away with yeah. the, with a, a little bit of bonding. Yeah. So what did we do? I was hands. told that there was a problem with anterior guidance. Even yeah. the first dentist understood that, but had no idea what to do. Mm -hmm. 
And so all they could offer was very complex splint programs, one after another that I consulted with. Yeah. I believe I consulted with four, yeah. all the way from San Francisco to San Diego. Yeah. And really, all they wanted to do was splints. Yeah. And long-term splints, then possible reconstruction. It's horrifying. Crowning your tooth in your head. Changing yeah. your bite. Yeah. See, well, without yeah. any regard, and you understand this for the joints <laughs> yeah. as a physical right. therapist, right? right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm totally into prevention. And yeah. if I had known more about this, I would have known to come in sooner. Sure. One of the reasons I'm happy to do this video is that I'd like somebody to know in my situation who's only got the clicking, because I never had pain before. Mm -hmm. I thought, I don't have TMJ problem. Yeah. I, I had a little bit when I was 30 years old, had a splint for a year, never looked at it again. Yeah. I had a little bit of clicking over the years, never thought anything of it. It went away. Now it I went know, away because now the, I know the cartilage got means. popped out further. Yeah, now I know what that means. Mm -hmm. Wish I was smarter before. I would have been here Most dentists you know, before. don't know. They think so, they know, but they don't know. Yeah, but I'd like to say that folks that don't have pain and headaches, like the ones that normally see you, yeah. should consider seeing you. Yeah. Definitely if they're clicking. To get a baseline. Yes, because they might be like me and well managed in all these other areas with muscles yeah. and I don't have headaches, don't have muscle problems, yeah. don't have neck problems particularly, yeah. more than the average bear, right, like you were saying. Sure, sure. Um, but if you have the clicking, you've got to take care of it. Well, that's a sign so, of an orthopedic problem. Yeah. And that can translate into bite and headache and all sorts of different problems, cold sensitivity, all that's yeah. just related. Right. Yeah, yeah sure. So. Yeah. That's the big takeaway for me, is that if you got on this earlier, I wouldn't have a 4B four, four four B and 5A. I'd be back in what, 2A, two, 2A? Two, yeah, two maybe. A. I mean, it depends. See, if you were, say, 3As, which is uh -huh. less of a problem, you might have stayed 3A, and we balanced things out. Could have been that the trauma popped you to a 4A, 4B right away, and you just kind of slipped down the road. Yeah. Bottom line is, here you are, almost three years later, your crown's been fixed, we checked it with computers. Right. Your bite looks yeah. great. You're asymptomatic. We have we now have another timestamp to be able to track the problem. Right, and, and maybe two or three years, or right. one or two years from now, ideally, we would take a new MRI. Yeah, and see right. what's going on. I think it's also interesting to say that um, when I came in, you said you're on the edge, and I'm not sure I'd even yeah. do the procedure with you. You were, and you left it to me to make the decision, really. Yeah. And I thought my one question was, can it make it worse? And, and I think you probably said, not. you said probably not, and that was a good, good way to describe it, because I, I think you're right on that. Yeah. Um, and my, my good impression was that this was absolutely the right way to go, yeah. and it was. And I know you don't normally <laughs> see this level, right? You don't normally treat yeah. a 5 Normally I don't go to 4Bs and 5As, because yeah. that's by definition unstable and maladapted. It looks like right. it's breaking yeah. down. But we caught you at the end of the breakdown. Uh -huh. In other words, you were on your, but you needed help. So what we did with the computerized bite adjustments was we helped you be more stable. Yeah. It, it, it and it allowed the orthopedics to calm down. Right. And the neurology yeah. and the whole system. Yeah. That's what happened, so, bottom line. Yeah. So if you have a client who's, who really can sense themselves yeah. and knows, you know, I had a good, strong sense, that's what I needed. Yeah. And, and um, yeah. yeah. So, so no regrets? We're, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. We're, we're happy to be here. Also, we love your city. Well, thanks. Yeah. yeah Roger's pretty yeah. good. And Benville. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Crystal Bridges. Absolutely pretty, great. Pretty yeah. <laughs> Super great.